I just want to take a few minutes tonight to show you this XP Deus 2 shaft that I just uh, got from Steve's detector rods. Um, the biggest thing for me, okay, I have the uh, the, the XP Deus, uh, the Deus uh, stock rod on the left, and you can see the big the big problem is the stand is the stand is way too short. It doesn't support the machine from tipping over side to side. Everybody knows that. Here's here's the the huge thing with this. Okay. Okay. I've got this. I'm hunting along, and now I can easily I can easily press all the buttons. This is this is such an improvement over what I would have to do in order to um, you know in order to press the buttons on the stock chassis. Uh, these cam locks that he's used on these, these adjustable cam locks. Uh, this is all carbon fiber. Um, and also the, um, the remote retention mechanism that just, you, you just loosen this up and then there's a little piece that actually slides back okay and then you can take the remote off you slide that forward you screw that down and the remote is um the remote is is locked on there great for obviously the guys who are water hunting or if you're hunting on the side of a cliff and you don't want to lose your remote or whatever um the uh, adjustable, the adjustable cuff is infinitely adjustable. There's no, um, it's a, it's a clamping mechanism, so you can, it's just infinitely adjustable for like, uh, you know, four to fourteen inches or whatever it is. Um, yeah, so um, I obviously haven't had a chance to. I just opened the box. I just put it together. And I just wanna, I just wanna show you this real quick. The uh, it's it's not that the Deus II uh, stock chassis is horrible, but I mean it's a, it's a I think that's the chassis that they've used for a long time for um, their other machines. I I could be wrong about that. I I'm not super familiar with the history of Deus uh, XP and the stuff that they put out, but um, you know, this is uh. <laughs> this is just it's like a work of art you know it really is i'll have to take it out and see how it uh how it does in the field or whatever else but um yeah thanks steve this is this is just really makes my day um i've got the ws6 set up so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get the puck i'm going to put it here and then i'm going to have two uh i'm going to have two machines i'll have the headphones that i use with the puck i'll run the remote for filming uh swap them back and forth if i want to use one on the other whatever um that's what uh that's the advantage of these things uh you know xp making these things so modular and whatever but yeah very very happy with the product it was 250 dollars shipped um but could you get the xp one for less yes could you make something yourself for less yes um, but like I said, this is like, uh, this is just like a work of art, you know, it's, it's very nice. It's a very high end. If you want something high end, buy one of these for your, to put your control and, uh, your controllers and your coils on. So, all right. I will, um, I'm trying to make some videos, uh, get some content up, but it's been real hard. I just, um. The weather has been atrocious. Uh, any of the videos that I have made have turned out like shit. And so I'm just going to have to um, refilm a bunch of stuff. And now the weather is going to freeze up the ground. So it'll be a while before I get stuff out. But um, at least I'll have two nice units to do it with, you know, in these, uh, in this, in these pair. I just wanted to also say that I have sold my CTX. 
Um, I really wanted to do that so it wasn't around. I wasn't so I wasn't falling back on it really. Um, so the um, the Deus Two has proven to be um, just really just really unbelievable. I will uh, I'll show you here in the two months that I've had it. I have gone to um, I have gone to these sites that I've continually hunted. I'm going to put you down for just a second. Open this. I'll pick you back up. And this is what I've found so far. Uh, I believe there's 35 silver coins in there. Um, there is also my first um, my first Canadian Vicky that I've ever found, Victoria Quarter, uh, 1880. So I was very, very um, excited about that. I have found six seated dimes in the time that I've had this. And the reason for that is because I have been hunting these terrible old places with a lot of nails that I have found stuff at before, but not at this rate. The rate that I'm finding the coins, just, um, there's just too many of them. Just, uh, there's just no way that I missed all these and everybody else has missed all these and whatever else. So whatever the day S2 is doing, it is, uh, it is really, uh, it's a fantastic thing. I've obviously still got a, a couple of explorers left uh, as backups and um, things like that. So I, I do still have FBS technology uh, in the stable along with this, but uh, I'll be using this for a long, long time, long time to come. And especially with this chassis here. Very, very, very nice. Thanks again, Steve. It's, uh, it's just beautiful. I just want to hang it on the wall and forget about it. <laughs> Look at it every time I walk by, so. Um, I'm, you know, I, I would obviously recommend, uh, uh, NESD's detector rods, um, any of his stuff to anybody. I had a, uh, a lower rod for the CTX, um, again, very, just very well done, as well done as it gets. Um, you know, a chassis like this is probably what it should have been offered from the factory, maybe a high-end chassis and maybe then the standard chassis or something, but you know, whatever. It's, uh, it is what it is. You got the opportunity to buy it, 250 shipped, and I'll talk to you later.